Hi everybody, Teacher Rob here. Today I want to read a book called Who Am I? by Philip Bunting. Am I my name? You have a name, but your name is not you. Your name is just a little bundle of letters. You by any other name would still be you. These vowels and consonants will not determine who you are or who you will be. Yet somebody who loves you chose your name, so hold it close. Am I where I'm from? Where you are from might give you a preference for sushi over spaghetti, and a way of speaking or dressing. But no matter where on earth you're from, we are all creatures of the same planet, sailing around the same star, looking up at the same moon. Towns and cities will come and go. Nations and borders are all made up. The place you are from is the Earth, just like everyone else. Am I my stuff? Your possessions can help you do great things and share fun times with others. But your stuff will never make you who you are. The things you own will change as you get bigger. So share your stuff and learn to let it go. And as you grow, you will begin to find the more you know, the less you'll need. Am I my gender? You are much more than your gender. How you were born does not define who you are or who you will be. Girls, boys, and everyone in between, we are all a part of the same whole. We are all just people, and all people are equal. Am I the color of my skin? Your skin is your spacesuit on your voyage through the present as we circle around our sun. They come in all colors, but the color of yours does not make you who you are. Your skin keeps all the good stuff in and the nasty things out. We wouldn't last long without our spacesuits, so take great care of yours and be proud of its beautiful color. So if I'm not my skin, am I my muscles? Your muscles are a marvelous part of your body, but they do not make who you are, no matter how beefy you become. Your muscles will take you places near and far. Exercise them often and keep them strong. Okay then, am I my bones? Your skeleton helps to keep you upright and keeps your insides safe. Without them bones, your body would be like a big, mushy bag of warm soup, lolloping around the place like a beached jellyfish. Your bones do not make who you are, but remember to brush your teeth twice a day, unless you really like eating soup. How about my guts and stuff? They are not you either, but all of these bits and pieces very kindly keep your body ticking over. Give your insides plenty of good food. Eat mostly plants and not too many treats. Drink lots of water and breathe deeply. If you look after your insides, your insides will look after you. Am I my senses? Your senses are a multitude of very handy little bodily systems. They cleverly convert objects from the outside world into information that your brain can understand via tiny electrical impulses. Too cold! Ouch! Oh, that really smells! They are very useful indeed, helping to keep you happy, healthy, and safe. But your senses do not 
make who you are. Am I my thoughts? You and you alone see your thoughts. These are just ideas and memories passing through your mind. You are not the thoughts themselves, and you can change them if you try. Hold the good thoughts close and let the bad ones go. Your mind will take you much further than your body ever will. So feed your mind with new things every day. Be kind to your mind. Give it lots of rest and lots of play. Am I my feelings? Your feelings, emotions, and instincts are just like thoughts, but they come from a much deeper place in your mind. Your emotions can teach you lots of things that thoughts cannot. So learn from them, trust them. But just like your thoughts, remember to let the bad ones go. Now we are getting closer to who you are. So if I'm not my name, my place, my stuff, my gender, my skin color, my muscles, my bones, my guts and stuff, my senses, my thoughts, or my feelings, then who am I? Well, all of these things are the makings of you. But your true self is so much greater than any of these bits and pieces. Right now, you are one tiny human. One of eight billion, or thereabouts bobbing along through the multiverse on this wonderful little spaceship we call the Earth. You and your fellow travelers are from the same place and are made of the same stuff. We all share the same hope, fear, joy and love. We all exist as individual people. Yet, we are deeply connected, far beyond the limits of our bodies, minds and borders. We are all one, but who are you? Pooting around, somewhere behind your eyes, is the thing that truly makes you, you. Your truest self. This part of you is pretty mysterious. We all know it's there, but we can't seem to agree what it is, where it comes from, or what to call it. Some people call it the soul. Some call it the soul, some call it the psyche, others call it Atman. Whatever you choose to call it, this is the part of you that sees what you see, wonders what you wonder, and feels what you feel. This part of you has always been here and always will be. That is who you are. But who you will choose to be in this lifetime, well, that is up to you. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.